All right, this is like the fourth or fifth time trying to make this video. Um, I don't know how to go about it. Um, anyway, before I show you guys what I got added in this time around, um, I will be sure to give updates on the new setup. I'm still extremely busy. This has been a crazy summer. I want it to end. It will end. Um, anyway, I want to thank you guys for pushing me to 2,000 subscribers. To me, that is insane. Uh, I can't believe I hit that mark. Uh, to me, that's definitely a cold day in hell. <laughs> that's a cold day in hell to reach that many subscribers, regardless of the active or n not active or not active subscribers. Uh, to hit a number like that, uh, I appreciate that. So thanks. Um, I don't do it for a sub count. I just do it because it's fun making collection videos for others who are into the same thing because I don't know anybody who's into this kind of stuff in real life so I enjoy watching others who are into what I'm into so that's why I do it so but anyway how could I not be appreciative and recognize what a compliment that is to hit a number like that I never ever would have thought I'd hit 2,000 subscribers that is nuts so thank you um, even if I go below that uh, I'm, I'm okay I just knowing that I hit that is, is good enough for me so um, I appreciate that so thank you um, that's insane I, I still can't get over that but anyway let me show you guys uh, what all movies I got added in uh, it's almost two minutes into this so I, I'm, I'm never gonna get better than that I, I've tried multiple times but anyway, first up, Antibodies, uh, a serial killer themed movie that I've had my eye on quite some. I've been on the fence about it, so one of those psychological thrillers I'm looking forward to checking out. It's definitely got some uh, crazy moments in it from what I've read. Um, but Antibodies, really nice addition. Um, Dark Sky. Uh, huge upgrade uh, for me, The Beast in Heat. Uh, all I had was the uh, Full Moon Entertainment DVD, went by um, another title, but um, but yeah, huge upgrade for me. So thank you, Severin. That's awesome. Definitely digging this uh, cover art. That's funny. Um, crazy. Uh, next one is a blind buy. I'm, uh, I love seeing what Bayview Entertainment releases usually it's in conjunction with like retro media but I think this is just straight uh, Bayview Entertainment release it looks like looks to be a lot of uh, practical effects which is always a plus of course uh, so just going by the cover art and the synopsis I had to check this out so I have to check this out so the Black Gate uh, Blood Ranch hopefully I get some sort of entertainment from this one again another blind buy another blood title um a body at brighton brighton rock i'm not hearing too many good things about this one um more negative than anything but i couldn't help myself just simply because of the interesting title the cover art and the synopsis i just had to, i gotta take a chance on it so we'll see so body at brighton rock um the canyon so another one I've been on the fence and fence on for years. Um, I, I cherry pick a lot from Magnet. Um, I've got a, quite a few of their horrors and thrillers, but this one I just wasn't sure about. But I I do dig these type of uh, it could happen stories. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the wolves do and how this how this comes along. So the Canyon, another Plonia Brothers movie, Chainsaw Killer. Uh, another one I'm looking forward to checking out for the first time. Seen quite a few of their movies over the years, but I have yet to uh, check this one out. Some of their newer movies I'm, I'm a little behind on. The Chill Factor. You can go ahead and mark this off the old uh, VHS graveyard list. So um, I almost bought this movie multiple times on Amazon. I believe um, a bootleg uh, Synergy, I think Synergy released this on DVD at one point, and it was available to buy on Amazon. I just never did it. Um, but anyway, the Chill Factor, cool to finally have a really nice edition. So thank you, Arrow. That's awesome. 
Critters Attack, Critters Part 5. Uh, well, I, I appreciate uh, practical effects for sure. Um, I'm probably the last person on Earth to have... have you, I just haven't seen it yet, so I need to get around to that. It's Guys, it's been a crazy summer. I have not had time to watch a lot of movies including this one i definitely want to check this out for sure but i'm hearing a lot of bad things but i think i'm gonna ha I, I i i think i'm gonna have fun with it still uh dead of night classic big upgrade so thank you kino larva kino's doing a lot of cool they're releasing a lot of cool movies especially um coming up so awesome so Dead of Night, I uh, definitely need to revisit this one. It's been a while. This needs to be uh, an Octo September, October viewing for sure. And The Dead Pit. I had to get Dead Pit. Been a while since I watched this one. Um, I definitely need to revisit this one as well. This one, I will admit, was a little bit tough to get a hold of, but I, I got one. I, got, I locked down a copy, so awesome. Uh, Dead Sight, uh, another blind buy. The zombies look cool in this one. I did watch the trailer for this one. It kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Birdhouse, the, the movie Birdhouse, which I did. I like that one. Um, but this one looks to be better, just because it's it's got some. I don't know. It's got some cool looking zombies. So hopefully I like it. So Dead Sight, pretty cool. I definitely dig the cover art. So that's that. Uh, Dolph Lundridge in a zombie movie called Dead Trigger. Hopefully I like this one. I've liked quite a few of his newer sci-fi thrillers or sci-fi horrors. I can't put my name on the one I recently watched that I, I really, I, I enjoyed that one. But hopefully I like this one, Dead Trigger. And finally, I've been wanting this one. So glad to finally mark, mark this off the old DVD wish list. Die BQ from uh, Warlock Home Video. Um, so Die BQ. Definitely love that cover art. That is, uh, that's how you do cover art. That that looks straight up from the 80s. So uh, don't know the artist that did this one, but hopefully he or she is still um, getting work because that's that looks. That's how you do it. That's that's how you do cover art. That legitimately looks like it would have been done in the 80s. It's n not at all comic booky. It's just good old fashioned, simplistic yet. Anyway, anyway, Dive BQ, looking forward to checking that out. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but um, just the title alone and the cover art. And I've liked some of Warlock Home Videos movies, so I think I think I'll dig it. Uh, more uh, documentaries added into the, my horror themed or spooky themed documentary collection. This is um, Exploring the Supernatural. So I got another copy of UFO Chronicles. I, I don't know if that's the same documentary that I got recently, but it is the same title. Uh, with ghost stories, uh, you got Miracles, Mysteries, Vampires, Notre Dame. So three disc uh, set. It's pretty weird. It goes in like this. So the DVDs are exposed that way instead of the instead of the usual way so that's that's interesting I don't, anyway as that and then this one looks pretty cool uh exposure sorry for the glare guys there's nothing i can do uh, i do appreciate getting some good lighting in this room uh, but exposure this one looks nuts hopefully it's some good uh mutation creature fun just going by the cover art alone um I I have fun collecting the Scream Team releasing movies, so that looks pretty cool. Hopefully I dig it. I think I will. So cool. Exposure. Very cool. And then a TV series I never even heard of, Forever Night, the complete series, released by, what is that? Mill, okay, Mill Creek. So... Definitely beefing up the uh, horror thriller uh, themed TV TV shows. So Forever Night, not at all familiar with this guy. I'm just being honest. Uh, vampire TV series. So cool. Uh, vampires. I'm not big into the vampire 
themed horrors. Um, I, I, I like quite a few, but I'm more of a creature. Well, those are creatures. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, uh, finally finishing up my uh, Fringe collection. I needed Season 3, uh, Season 4, and the last one, Season 5, the final season. So now I have all five of Fringe, and I need to get this sticker off because that's bugging me. That's going to bug me. So I imagine some of you guys are the same way. Okay. Uh, clearly paying homage to the Blind Dead movies. This is Graveyard of the Dead. Uh, I went ahead and checked my lists of movies I already own and I don't think I have this one. I think I, I may have made a mistake and bought this again, but I don't think so. I think this just got released. This is coming from SRS Cinema, Sub Rosa. So, Graveyard of the Dead. Pretty cool. Uh, Hangman, another blind buy. Found footage horror. So, Hangman. Head count, this seemed interesting. Hopefully I like it. Uh, mixed reviews. So, there's that. Hellmaster, upgrade from the old DVD. I used to have this on VHS as well back in the day. And of course I had to, oh dang it. <laughs> of course I had to switch it to the crazy in your face cover art that I remember. I'm sure most of you guys remember that original art but yeah i haven't watched this movie in forever I'm, i maybe watched the dvd like once or twice and that's been about it and, and this is a huge upgrade compared to that dvd that i had um i just i go weak for corman especially the, the classic corman stuff so i had to double dip or should i say quadruple dip at this point in my life so humanoids from the deep 4k scan so, had to. I'm not. I'm not at all into still books. Um, they look nice, but they're just. You can easily scratch them and, and dent them. So I got to be careful with this one for sure. But Humanoids from the Deep. Had to. I had to get that. I love that movie. Uh, the Intruder. This one looks awesome. Uh, I love Dennis Quaid. Um, uh, just definitely one of my favorite actors. And uh, to see him play a villain. Um, you don't really easily get that, so that, that, that's what really interested me with this movie. So, The Intruder. Oh, finally going after this documentary. This has been on the DVD uh, wish list for years. I've just been putting it off and putting it off because I'm thinking this will just be included as a special feature eventually on a nice Blu-ray edition, but I guess not. I don't know. It's just been This has been out for years. I've been, I've been putting it off, but... I went ahead and just ordered me a copy from Grindhouse Video, so uh, they ship out fast. So glad to finally mark it off the old DVD wish list. So and I do like the cover art. So invaluable, cool documentary on the special effects and stuff of the Evil Dead movie. A Jacker, the first one. A Jacker two, Descent to Hell. Oh. Killer Instinct. This one looks okay. Uh, some crazy traps set up in a house. It's got a killer in the house kind of movie. It's got what's her name? Legendary actress. Uh, yeah, D. Wallace Stone. And then another guy I'm familiar with that's in this. Quite a few familiar faces in this movie, but Killer Instinct. Uh, don't hear so many good things about this movie, but I've been wanting it. Uh, Landing Lake uh, looks like some cool body melt action so I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this one as well I like the sci-fi horrors so I want to check it out so Landing Lake and then another upgrade this one the title change I know that there's ZA Zombies Anonymous which I haven't watched that movie in a long time um, now it's retitled as Last Rites of the Dead um, I did not know that when I bought this and I looked into it and I was like, oh, I already have this movie. So, cool. I never would have thought this would uh, make the leap, but cool. 
Uh, and I will uh, stop it here and uh, show you guys the second stack. So, again, thank you guys for your time. You guys are awesome. So, I uh, appreciate that. So, come back and uh, try and check out this rest of this. So, uh, later.